everybody. I'm Anita Finley, your host for the Zoomer Times interview today. And we have an old friend, not that he's old, but John Alvum has been doing this with us many times. And John is the, he founded something called the Album, uh, the Album Insurance uh, Group. And, it, and you know, there's a lot of insurance companies out there, but they're different. And I'm going to have John talk about why his insurance company is different and what he specializes in. So go ahead, John, why don't you tell everybody? We specialize in, in Medicare supplements. Uh, and basically we specialize in United American Medicare supplements. And that's because we have found over the years that that's, I feel is the best company out there. Uh, they were a pioneer in the Medicare supplement business. And a lot of what's still approved as, as plans were based on plans that United American developed 70 odd years ago. So it's, um, you know, they're, United American's primary product too is the Medicare supplement. So that's, you know, the, the company, the agents and everybody are all, all Medicare supplement people. Well, I'll tell you an interesting story about this because I've had John Alvin, I've known him for many, many years. And of course I have purchased his United American uh, supplement. I don't know how many years, John, do you even have an idea how I've been with it? 15, 20, long time. Around well, 15, I think it's been quite a while. A long time. I had a friend who was going to have a cataract operation and um, I have one friend who had one and she has United American. And it didn't cost her anything because she didn't go and get any laser. She just, it was great. I think she paid for some ointment, but that was it. So I had another friend who said, oh, well, I went to this doctor and, and he, uh, he wanted to charge me $3,000. And I said, well, uh, go to this doctor because I didn't know what she had. I, I never had asked her. I just assumed she had an American. So she went and, um, <laughs> and they said, we don't take your insurance. So she has an HMO and I said, oh, well, that's different. You see, because if you have an HMO then, and you're not with United American, I don't think it's going to be free. I mean, I don't even know what it is, but it's not the same. And so then she said, well, I'm going to ask him how much it's going to cost. Are you sitting down? I think you are without any insurance and without, and with her HMO, I think for what she wanted, she's, it was going to be $10,000. You believe that? I don't I hardly believe that. Ten thousand dollars. Wow. Well, I don't know what she was going to have, laser, whatever it was, but um, and so I told her what I had. So I told her I've had this for so many years, and when I go to have my cataract operation, I don't expect to pay anything because I'm not going to have laser. I'm just going to have the regular whatever they do. Um, so she said, "Oh, well, I'll have to look into it." I said, "Well, but now listen, it's going to cost you every month. It's, there's going to be a fee because it's an insurance policy." just for the very reason of what you have, but for everything else. And, and um, that's, it's, it, people just don't realize that, John. They, they just think that, I mean, if they owned an insurance company like you do, they'd appreciate what you, you have to spend and what insurance costs. And so the has, Owen has to pay for it. Well, I had cataract surgery two months, three months ago. Oh, really? And on um, one eye, on my left eye, and I, my eye doctor recommended LASIK surgery. And I knew that Medicare would cover the appointment, but it won't, wouldn't cover the actual LASIK. But when I spoke to the eye doctor, the specialist, I mean, the, you know, the one that was going to do that, he said, it's just, it's worth the extra money out of pocket because they use a laser, they do it, it's done, everything is smooth and even and it's quick and painless. The old style that Medicare pays for the original type is they actually cut out the cataract with a knife and, and you know, the, the lens and then put a new one in. And it takes longer and there could be, you know, slippage or something. With a laser, everything is, is done very perfectly. In fact, it was done so quickly when I, he said something about, all right, we're going to get you up here in a minute and you're going to go 
go sit in the waiting room for a few minutes before you go home. And I said, when are you going to do the operation? Said, <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a friend who had it done without the laser therapy and it came out beautifully. And yeah. he didn't have to pay anything. So, and Bill had had it that way also years ago. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you have the $1,300, then you can do it. But it's much more than that if you are don't have United American. Do you have any idea? Uh, do HMOs do that? Do they do it for free? I I honestly don't know. He he said this, the specialist that I went to said he wouldn't accept an HMO or PPO. He really only just accepted Medicare and right. Medicare patients. Right. Um, I know you can't go with an HMO or with a, a Medicare Advantage plan, you can't go to places like um, the I place in Miami. Is this phone catering or whatever? No, it's Baskin Palmer. Baskin Palmer, yeah. You can't go there unless you have traditional Medicare, unless they've changed, but in, it always used to be that way. Did you go to Baskin Palmer? No, I went to... Uh, you went to a private person, a private yeah, they, they, Well, they had an office right near, um, right in Margate, right near the hospital in Margate. And they're, they're very good. Yeah. Well, you know, I have to tell you an, another story that, um, and you don't sell long-term health care, but people, it's the same thing with long-term health care. People do not, people do not want to, pay for long-term health care insurance, but yet when they need a, they need a, um, I was going to say a, uh, a person to come, a helper, um, it doesn't, they don't get that. They may get a little bit of it from the beginning Medicare, but then if you want someone for months and months and years, you have to have insurance for it. Right. I'm sure you get a lot of questions, John, about all this. Just because you only sell United American, I'm sure people want to know a lot more stuff. Well, yeah, and we've sold, you know, we've sold other products too, along with it, other companies. But I've just found that over the years, United American is the most consistent as far as quality, as far as claims paying, as far as you go into a doctor's office, at least in the old days. And the minute they heard United American, they wanted to get you in the, you know, get you back in the exam room right away. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Because you must. And that used to be a good, you know, a lot of referrals used to come from from doctors when they found out that we had that we offered United American. I don't know if this will show. Maybe it will because I have this back thing in front of me, but. No, it doesn't show because I have this other thing. I have my my grass. It's not showing. Uh -huh. It does a little bit, not not really enough. I wanted to show the ad that you have, but we don't have to do that. Yeah, I have. This is a strange thing <clears throat> when you have this back, this um, you know, a backlit uh, <clears throat> excuse image. Yeah, I can't put things in front of it. But um, I know that you, of course, have had a lot of. I guess you call them clients, I'm sure. These are people who you've worked with for a long time. Are they referring you to their adult children now? Is that how it goes? Oh, well, I missed that. I'm sorry. Well, uh, do, do people refer you uh, to their adult children, the ones who have already been with you? Yes, I get a lot of referrals from clients for people who they know who are just starting on Medicare or might be unhappy with what they have currently and things like that. That's most of our business is referrals more so than, and, and, and people turning 65 naturally is, or just people starting on Medicare, you know, um, but a lot of them are referred to us too. So it's, it, it works out very well. One thing also that I've been very, interested and, and supportive of you held the prices you know a lot of insurance companies seems like they keep raising prices and raising prices but you just recently had a, a raise not a lot but you've held that price for many years 
Right, well, we had a rate increase this year and it was really based on the state saying that they had to operate, all companies had to operate at a 65% uh, claims loss ratio. Their claims couldn't be more than 65% of you know, their total income. Oh. And um, they adjusted it and the state's happy. There was other companies that went up some, other some companies were too high and went down, but they'll be coming up again this year because they, they still have claims and then, then the ratio will, you know. But we're we're pretty competitive in every state, so. But people need to know there is a difference in what you call a supplemental policy and just a regular you know, policy, uh, whether it's HMO or PPO or something else. So I guess, and, and people recognize that some of your competitors are what AARP and who else does supplemental insurance? Uh, AARP, Blue Cross has supplements, United, uh, United of Omaha, Mutual of Omaha. Um, Humana has a supplement. It's expensive, but they have a supplement. Banker's Life has it. I mean, there's quite a few companies that offer supplements. But what I like is that you own this company. Your family's now very involved. And you are always there to answer questions and to help people. To me, yeah. that's <laughs> the most important part, John. Well, that to me is one of the things that makes United American unique and so popular with, because I, um, I'm not positive, but I think it's the only company where you have an agent for life, the life of your policy. Ah. Where most companies after the policy is issued, you call for something, you keep, the agent can't help you. You have to call customer service and talk to somebody. And in some cases they're not even in the US. Oh, no kidding. But somebody calls, a client will call UA and ask a question and they say, we want you to speak to your agent. And they will generally transfer or give them our number here at the office. And then we will get them connected with their personal agent to get everything taken care of. So it's. No, customer service is on such a free fall now. Everyone, they want you to go to a website. You go to the website and it's not working. There's no phone number. I mean, this, this isn't a lot of things, not just insurance. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you, you've you know, had that happen. It's very frustrating because I like a personal touch. I like to talk I, to someone. I, I need, I have questions. Well, we, we encourage all of our clients, we make sure that our card is stapled inside their policy. So they've always got our number and they, and you know, every holiday season we send out holiday cards. And, and again, they have phone numbers and everything in that too, so that they, they hear from us at least annually. And they, they're reminded if they need anything, call us and we'll take care of it because we can united americans also the only company that i'm aware of that has a division that's dedicated just to agents and agency it's called the agency service department huh really? and the people in that department are trained to help an agent help a client that's excellent you know that's a little expensive to do but you'll keep your clients that way yeah and keep and it keeps them you know there's, there's nothing worse than to have something medically wrong and not having an answer right away you, you want that's probably one of the things you want the quickest answer for in the world is, is something medical well let me just tell you and i'm going to give everybody your phone number it's um 954-970-4760 and they do have a website and it's called albumgroup.com. Now, I don't know who this, I have a friend who has United American. Unfortunately, she purchased it 
um, from someone else. And I, I really said, you're crazy to have done it. She didn't realize because when she goes to call this person, he doesn't give her answers. There's a lot of things that I said, well, call him and ask him. She said, I've tried, but it doesn't work. And she said, can I switch over to yours? I don't, I said, I don't think you can. Is that true? If it's an active policy, they can't change to a different agent. I know. That was unfortunate. I told her, she says, oh, darn, because I said, if you go to John Alvum, you will be so happy. But um, so she can't and it is active. Uh, the other thing that's happened is that a lot of the offices are not aware that United America and American does not charge a lot of extras because she'll go, she's just had a wrist, um, a broken wrist and when she went for things, they always said, okay, so well, that'll be an extra $50, an extra 60. No, she said, I won't because it pays for it. And they then check it Oh, They say, oh yes, I know it. So what's the problem there? Why aren't these people aware that United American doesn't have those extra fees? Um, you mean in the doctor's office? Yep. Because they're only trained, unfortunately, for the Advantage plans. And so many of the people in the front office or even in the billing departments only know how to bill an Advantage plan. They don't know how to bill Medicare and then a supplement. Wow. That's too bad. You know that, mm -hmm. I mean, well, she, she, she tells them, she tells them, I think you better check. Then they do and they come back and said, we're sorry. But, but it's a little painful at the time. Yeah, well, I end up speaking to a lot of different doctor's offices when the client's in there and they're being told they got to do this or that or pay this. And... Oh, oh, so you I, you hear this, so you have to call yourself. Uh huh. And they call, you know, and the client will call and ask me if I'd speak to the person and they and they explain it to them, and then they get it straightened out. All right. So that's why phone calls are so important, John. Yes. You know, I think it'd be a good time now for you to talk about your family and how they're involved with you. I mean, you have a lovely family and and I think that's very special. Um, why don't you brag a little bit about them? It's okay. <laughs> about the family? Yeah. Um, well, let's see. <laughs> that's right. You can show us their pictures, sure. There's some of it right there. Oh, it's fabulous. Look at that. <laughs> and my wife Donna, who's in the sitting in the next office right now, is a partner and an agent and very successful. My son Tim, who started right after he graduated from college, huh? has been one of the leading agents or the leading agent multiple times in his career. And my daughter-in-law, Christine Album, is a agent and a producer. And our son-in-law, Kurt Smith, for a while was an agent. Now he's switched over to things with four tires on them. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's OK. But um, yeah, I've got I've got four children of my own. Donna has four children of her own. Huh? And we also have nine grandchildren. So. Oh my goodness! So Mother's Day coming up is going to be a big deal. Yes. Do most of them live here? Say again. Do most of them live here? All of mine live in Florida. Um, Two of Donna's do. She's got one daughter in New Hampshire who's in real estate and a daughter who's in Oregon who actually does, takes care of dogs, does dog training, dog, dog oh. work, that kind of stuff. So that... I see. Well, I think that it's, I can picture a dinner table there with your family. If they're all eating together, the subject is about album group insurance. I mean, you know, listen, dad, did you hear what happened? And blah, blah, blah. So you know, you're all so tied up with that together. Mm -hmm. Often it is a subject. 
Can't we talk about something else today? <laughs> and then Timmy, Tim and I, you know, we'll end up at meetings in Texas at the home office together and stuff like that. So we work, we work very closely together. Even that's though a, that must be a dream for you. Say again. It's a dream for you. Yeah. But it's um, being a you know a family business. It's been it's been great. It's it's, it's just it's grown and we've grown and and it, it's fun. And that's you know people say when are you going to retire? I say never. Sorry. Right. Um, you don't have to retire. And people, I would be very unhappy if you weren't there. Don't retire. Well, I enjoy what I do, and I also enjoy the fact that most of the day we're helping people. We're helping them with a claim. We're helping them with this or that. And at the end of the day, when you've helped three or four people, it feels really good. Right. And the one thing that John hasn't told you is that every client, if it's a male, he gets the solution for his hair to look like John's. He gets the special stuff that John puts on to make his hair so beautiful. <laughs> you know, you are, you're so lucky to have that beautiful head of hair. And Thank you. Uh, I'm sure people tell you about that. Yes, especially you. <laughs> yeah, I do. When you were younger, was it blonde? Say again? When you were younger, was it blonde? It was brownish, then it was blonde. When I was little son, it was always blonde. So in the summertime, I was blonde. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's it. You got that from your mother, probably. I would imagine so. Yeah, right. 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 A lot of men get uh, that hair from their mother. But anyway, on a serious note, I just want everybody to know, it's time really to do something smart for yourself. You need to talk to the Album Group Insurance Organization you can call them and I'll give you, a, they actually have an 800 number. It's 877-970-4760. Um, so I, yeah, that's very close to your 954. Oh, it's the same thing. One is 954 and one is um, 877. I never realized that before. Mm -hmm. That was clever. It took a little doing, but I got it in. <laughs> yeah, it was very smart. The other thing is their office is located in Margate. So if you want to go and meet with John by, you know, with himself, by, with him or with his uh, son or the other uh, reps, uh, they'll come to you or you can go to them. Is that right, John? Exactly. I mean, now that COVID is, is hopefully almost a thing of the past, we are going to see more people. More people are coming in the office. You know, people are getting out and doing things, which is great. I mean, I think they feel a lot better doing it too, but um, we have a large conference table. So if somebody wants space, they, they can have it, you know. To, right. But we do, we do welcome clients and potential clients in the office, or we're glad to go see them. Right. Yeah, I think when you're buying an insurance policy, it is confusing. I mean, they have so many questions, but... Uh, you have a, you know, you have a good application form and, and you're always be available. But the real key is this. If you're on Medicare and you don't want to have to pay for extras, you want to join an, a supplement and you want to join one like United American because they must pay their bills because the doctors love them and they must pay them quick because the doctors love them. Mm -hmm. And the greatest thing about a supplement with Medicare versus a, a PPO or an HMO is the supplement is good anywhere in the country. So if you're traveling and you have a medical emergency or just need to have a cold and you want to see a doctor, you can, and it's covered. Or if you want to go see a specialist of some sort, and they're in Timbuktu, you can go see them and it's covered, you know? Right, good point, very important. Well, John, I think we've come to an end and you're going to have a great uh, weekend, I know, and I appreciate your being on, talking to everybody. So John Album in person with his white, beautiful hair. 
and his nice smile. And he's a, he's a great, he's a, quite a gentleman. So please do call him. And thank you, John. It was a pleasure being with you today. Thank you for having me on. Okay, we'll talk to you again. Doggy. Yeah, thank you. How's your little dog? My doggy is struggling, but he's good. He's good. He has a lot of mother's love and I have his love too. So thanks for asking. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you, John. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.